probably a student or former student. And when, when it is a student, um, in your experience, Chief Ramsey, uh, ha usually have there been some sort of warning signs, whether on social media or... Well, hold on one second. Uh, we're going to listen to the police uh, briefing the situation. Okay. Oh, we're having audio problems. I'm sorry, Chief Ramsey. I'm going to, I'm going to bring you back because we're having some sort of audio problems yeah. with the with that individual. Is it usually the case uh, that 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 there have been some sort of warning signs? Yeah, I am our now we have the audio. Sorry. We'll begin processing this horrific scene as soon as the buildings are cleared. Right now, the buildings are not safe to be cleared. We're asking that you put out on the news ASAP that any parent who's looking for their child to please go immediately to the Marriott within the Heron Bay complex. Our deputies and other police officers are transporting these young students over to Heron Bay to be re reunited with their parents. So that's where we want parents to go. Uh, I want to thank Mayor Beam, Commissioner Sharif, and Mr. Runcie for being here to support the Broward Sheriff's Office and to be with me at this uh, terrible time. Last thing I want to say is this is a terrible day for Parkland, Broward County, the state of Florida, and the United States. My very own triplets went to that school and graduated from Stoneman Douglas. They played football and lacrosse uh, at that school, so it's... Uh, it's just catastrophic. There really are no words, and we will keep you updated. I have spoken to Governor Scott. Uh, he's out of state. He is on his way over here. I have spoken to President Trump, and he's offered the full power of the United States of America to help us get through this. Any questions? I can't hear you. I, he was found off campus. I don't exactly know where. I believe he was found in the city of Coral Springs by a Coconut uh, Beach, a uh, Coconut Creek police officer. That's unconfirmed right now. There's so much can information. Can you give us an age range of those? Of I can. Those uh, from what I understand, there was a time uh, where he did attend the school. I don't know why he left. I don't know when he left. But he was not a current student. That is correct. He was not when a current was, student. Was, arrested, was there any competition? Police, did he open fire? I, I wasn't there, but I, I was told that there was no confrontation. He was, can you hear me? Do you have anyone else in custody? I understanding is no. just two, just one. One. Okay, do you have an age on him? I believe he's approximately 18 years old. Okay, and then at least one dead? Multiple. Multiple, so more than one. And you said the school is not safe right now. There's still children inside, and what have, what have, what have you heard? Well, I don't know. Uh, we believe, we believe at this point that all children that we know about are cleared and are outside the building. However, we don't know if there are injured people. We don't know if there are people hiding. We don't know, so uh, we will not begin to, uh, to release information or begin to open up the crime scene until the SWAT components say the school is safe and clear. When I hear all clear, we'll begin the next phase of this investigation. Are teachers dead or only students? I have no idea. You heard of Mr. Beagle? No, I, injuries approximately how many? Well, we, I don't know how many injuries there were, but we know 14 people were transported to area hospitals with varying degrees of, of wounds. Uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll wait for the school to be cleared. We'll go on to the next phase. I know this is critically important to release information to Broward County, and we will keep you up to date. But for right now, there's no more information to sure. inquire. Sure. Can we talk about where the shooter was? Was he inside the school? We've heard, and I know there's a lot of rumors, hey, that at one point there were firecrackers, and then it was a drive-by with the shooter inside the school in on campus. He was outside and inside at varying times. He certainly was inside. Thank you. In terms of those dead, have their families been notified? Have all the families been notified? Broward Sheriff Scott Israel addressing the media right there. I'm Ruth Butcher in the Situation Edwards. Room. We're continuing to follow uh, CNN's breaking news coverage of a mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. That's north of Miami. The Broward County School Superintendent says there are numerous fatalities and just a short time ago we saw pictures of one young man apparently in police custody the broward county's sheriff's uh, department confirms a suspect is now in custody cnn's brian todd is monitoring the situation for us brian lots of moving uh, parts right now what's the latest 
Uh, a lot of moving parts, Wolf. The situation is still very fluid. Here's what we know at the moment. The Broward County School System says this occurred sometime close to afternoon dismissal at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, north of Miami. Gunfire was heard then, several shots. The school superintendent in Broward County, Robert Runcie, says there are numerous fatalities. We just heard the sheriff, Scott Israel, say more than one. Law enforcement sources telling CNN there are at least two fatalities. Sources uh, telling us as well, the Broward County Sheriff there saying, there are at least 14 victims who were transported to local hospitals. Now, the father of one student says his daughter told him there was, quote, blood all over the place in the wake of this shooting. The Broward County Sheriff's Department now says the shooter is in custody. He was a student, they believe, and they do not think he is a current student there. There's aerial footage from earlier of a young man being placed into a police vehicle. The school went into immediate lockdown. Some kids, we were told, were hiding in closets. One teacher said she sheltered some 19 students in a classroom. Here are some witness accounts from students. It was supposed to be just a fire drill. We thought it was just another fire drill because we had another one earlier. But as soon as the fire drill got pulled, the fire alarm got pulled and kids were evacuating, I heard five pops. And I was like, that's not a drill. It's insane. It's it's un, it's unnecessary. It's it's out of it, it's there's no words to describe how I feel right now. Like I'm, I was shaking. I was I was panicking. It was just all out panic about the school. Sheriff Israel just told uh, reporters that all the students that they know about have been cleared from the school, but they're still looking through that school right now. Students tell CNN there was a lot of confusion as the shooting began. They say a fire alarm went off and students started to leave the school more deliberately as if they were evacuating for a fire alarm. Then students and teachers realized that it was not a fire alarm. They started acting more frantically. There is an indication that at least one police officer arrived fairly quickly on the scene. A student says that an officer got there shortly after they heard shots. The officer brandishing a weapon and a bulletproof vest. Kids started running outside, they said. Some took shelter in a nearby Walmart. The superintendent says they have no reason to believe there's more than one shooter. They said they received no warning ahead of time that something could be happening. Wolf, the sheriff, said that the shooter was outside and inside the school at various times, and he was found off campus and arrested without incident. Wolf. All right, Brian, thanks very much. Uh, on the phone with